All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a couple buttons uh, that will dictate the uh, shape that you are drawing with. So we're going to have a circle button and a square button. Um, so up above in our fields, we need to add those buttons so that we have them to work with. Private, we need to declare them. Private J button, circle button, and square button. And as in the past, we need to uh, initialize those elements. So, circle butt equals new J button circle square butt equals new J button square. We need to add those things, set swing attributes, so we need to add those to our panel 2, or panel 1, excuse me. Yeah. And we need to add panel 1 dot add square butt. And then but we also need to add our uh, add an action listener to that. So here we'll create an action listener class, private class action or my action listener. Implements action listener. And we need to add the unimplemented methods. Well, no, it's just one method. But and now we need to say if e dot get source equals circle butt. We want to do something. And if e dot get source equals square butt, we want to do something. And what we want to do is remember what shape we're supposed to be drawing. So we need a variable to do that. We're going to create a private int called current shape. And we're going to create um, public final int. Uh, and you do this with capitals by convention. Circle equals one. Public final int square equals 2 and this is just so that your code is more readable um, and so now if we go down here into our uh, action listeners we need to set the value of current shape to circle which is just one but it's more readable and here we need to set the value of current shape to square and we need to actually create the action listener which I forgot to do so we'll go up top to our fields again and we will create uh, private my action list oops private my action listener the action listener and scroll down and initialize that. So where we're initializing action li or listeners, let's do this one too. The action listener equals new my action listener class object, and then we need to add those things to the add the um, listeners to the buttons. So circle but dot add the action listener square but dot add the action listener and now it is listening for them it's just not doing anything so we want to quickly make it do something so instead of just adding an ellipse to our list of uh, objects when the mouse is dragged we want to add an if statement here so that we can control which shape we add so we say if current shape equals 
circle. Then we want to add the ellipse. And if it doesn't equal circle, if so else, we want to add shapes.add new rect angle uh, at draw x, draw y, and we'll just do 20, 20 right now. All right, and I think if I did all of that correctly, it will actually work. Let's see. Oh, where's my error? What in the world happened down here? I don't know why that happened. Okay, so if you do it exactly like I did it, you might have to clean that up down there. All right, let's run it. So now there's a circle and a square button. Let's see, did I do it? Yep, I did it correctly. Okay, awesome. Uh, so you can see that you can change the shape from uh, circles to squares.